Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Kayla. Today's video, you are going to see a 24 hour readathon vlog. Now, I am actually Kayla from the end of the video. It is the day after the 24 hour readathon. Um, I didn't film an intro, apparently, or I filmed an intro clip, but it wasn't actually an intro clip. I don't know. So, this readathon fell on a Thursday night at 8 p.m. for me and ran 8 p.m. to 8 p.m. on Friday night. And I tried to read as much as I possibly could in 24 hours. Now, I'm really excited. I did this with me, Ruby, and Ruby's friend Emily. And what you're about to see is just everything we got into in those 24 hours. So here's that. Um, and I hope you enjoy. See you at the end. Hey guys, so it is right before the readathon starts. I know I came back, or I, future me, you've already seen, because I didn't want this to be the first clip that you see of me for this vlog. So it's almost time. It is 6.30. The readathon starts at 7. And I just wanted to come on here and tell you guys what I am going to start with. And that way I can get this ready and then I can run real quick and make dinner and then come back and at seven I can be on the couch ready to read for this 24 hour readathon that Ruby and I and her friend are doing. Okay? Okay, so I really wanted this 24 hour readathon to be kind of a physical book focus uh, because we all know that I say that I'm going to read all my physical books and then I only pick up ebooks and audiobooks and then I stick with them and my real books stay there. So I wanted to do that, so read only physical books, but I did not correctly bide my time and I accidentally started an ebook that I want to keep reading. I'm starting with my ebook and I actually am already 13% of the way through, so I'm starting at the 13% mark for this readathon. It's gonna be Dating Dr. Dill. Um, by Nisha Sharma and this book was actually recommended to me by my sister-in-law. She really liked this book and so I put it on hold on my Libby app. It said six weeks. It came five days later so I guess some other people didn't want it but I am starting it and I'm very excited. So this is about a Indian American girl and she wants to her dad is retiring so she wants to buy the house that her dad is going to be selling before he moves and he basically is like no you're 30 and you're not married I'm not giving you your wedding money because you can't afford to buy this house and so she I think is going on a journey to find a fiance in probably less than a couple like four months she is she has to like get engaged so her dad will give her the money so she can buy the house and based on the title i'm assuming that the dude she starts dating is a doctor because it says dating dr dill uh so we have that one and then probably if it starts to be seven o'clock and i'm still cooking i am going to listen to my audiobook and the audiobook that i am currently reading i'm not sure how far i am i think like 30 percent of the way through it's called overthinking about you Navigating Romantic Relationships When You Have Anxiety, OCD, and or Depression by Allison Raskin. I didn't realize until I started listening to this that this is a YouTuber that I'm very familiar with. Um, I cannot remember the girl that she, all, she usually films with, but Allison and this other girl, I believe used to work for BuzzFeed and then stopped working for BuzzFeed and now have like their own thing. And I'm pretty sure they have a podcast and it's been a while since I've watched her content, but I know exactly what she looks like. I can hear her voice in my head. Obviously, I'm listening to the book and she's reading it, but like I can hear her voice in YouTube content. So I'm very familiar with her. And while I'm 30% of the way through, I'm actually learning a lot. I have a lot of notes in my notes app on my phone of like things that she's talked about that I definitely need to work on, things that people have said to me before that is not great based on the mental health issues that I, I have um, and there are things that they should not have said because of the mental health issues that I have um, but that's a whole other thing. So those are my two first things that I am working on right now for the beginning of the 24-hour readathon 
And yeah, I have two things that I might want to read tomorrow. Um, but it just depends on how well I do with these tonight. So I will update you when I get probably a little bit farther into either of these and we'll see how I'm going for this 24 hour readathon. Okay. Hey, um, I'm in a parking lot and the car right next to me to like two spaces over decided to park and not immediately get out of the car. So <laughs> they're watching this and I don't care. Um, it's the next day. It is 930, I think. So we're about 13 and a half or whatever hours into this. And so we're about halfway through. And here's what's happened so far. I did sleep last night. So there was sleeping in this 24 hour readathon but I listened to more of the overthinking about you I listened to it this morning while I was getting ready and I think I'm about 60 ish percent of the way through that and then when I last spoke to you I was 13 percent of the way through dating Dr. Dill and now I am last night I read and I am 70, 64, 65, 70% of the way through that. And I'm kind of obsessed. So basically we have our main character and she has to, she like is, works for a business and is like the lawyer for the business. And then she has to, because she is from the Indian American community, she has to get married for her dad to give her the money that her parents had saved up for her. And so basically she is trying to find a love match using all like the Indian dating sites and it, nothing's working and then she there's like this whole thing with this guy um who is a doctor and also is a Indian or an Indian TV personality for like the New Jersey area and um so she there's a whole thing with him and then they kind of are he's like trying to do this fake dating thing because he needs money for something too from his parents and so he's like well if we just get engaged and like pretend then it'll work right like we'll both get our money and then we can break up break our engagement in a couple months or whatever and she's like absolutely not i want a love marriage and so they're going back and forth and he's still like hey and then after a while like i think he secretly starts liking her it's this whole thing. I don't really want to give too much away, but yeah. So that's it. I literally can see Ruby. Hey, Ruby, sister girl, what's up? Um, Ruby's pulling in the parking lot, y'all. So I'm here at this little coffee shop. Ruby and her friend and I are going to get coffee and read together. And yeah, I did bring two books with me though. Ruby's going to park next to me probably and see me vlogging and it's just going to be a little treat. Um, or she's going to park over there and not park next to me. It's going to be sad. So um, I have a Discovery of Witches. Um, my bookmark just fell out. Great. And I also have The One by John Mars. I'm not exactly sure which one I'm going to read. But I'm going to go because Ruby's here. And I'll see you later. Okay. Hey guys, it is actually the next day. The 24 hour readathon that me, Ruby and Emily did was, or is over. It ended for me at 8 p.m. and it ended for them at 9 something p.m. And yeah, 
So I'm coming here to you guys to wrap it up. I actually haven't spoke to you guys since yesterday morning at the 12 hour mark. Um, we went to this little cafe. We read outside. I got an awful sunburn on my arms because I'm a dummy. Um, but we read there for a couple hours and we went back to Ruby's house and we read there for the rest of the night, kind of talked and hung out and it was really great. I read actually a lot. I was nervous on how this was going to go because of just reading how much how much you can read in 24 hours sounds kind of scary plus sleeping. It's like it's a whole thing. So, I'm here to report back on what I have read and wrap this up. So, I was last time I talked to you guys reading Dating Dr. Dill. I do not remember what percent I was at, but yesterday I ended up finishing that book and so I started on like 13% and I read to 100%. So I read 87% of that book, which ended up being 307 pages of that book read. So that's cool. And then when I finished that book, I so I picked up a Discovery of Witches and I definitely did not get very far. I don't know if you can see, but I only got that far. But I did read 49 pages of this. So I do not remember what page I started on. I think 46 and then I got to almost close to 100 pages or something. So I did read 49 pages of Discovery of Witches. And then um, after, before I talked to you guys, I had listened to some of my audiobook. And then after I talked to you, I did not get a chance to go back to it really at all. So my audiobook that I listened to was Overthinking About You by Allison Raskin. I only listened to 35% of that in the time frame of the 24 hours and that came out to 73 pages read. So in total, I read 429 pages in 24 hours. So I did read across three books, but realistically, I, well, I finished a book, one, and I read enough pages that I could have read a singular whole book in 24 hours. And that's freaking crazy that I put my mind to it. And honestly, the hours leading up to the readathon, I had actually read like 45% or like 35% of a different book and finished that one. So within like 36 hours, it's not part of the readathon, but in 36 hours, I probably read like over 600 pages, which is ridiculous. And I think that is super fun. And I definitely am going to try to do this again. Um, I'm going to try to figure out how I'm going to do this again. And I am definitely, I believe it's next weekend. So I think you're seeing this on Monday. This coming weekend, if you're seeing this on Monday, is going to be Raglan at stages 24 and 48 for June. And I'm definitely going to try to participate. So I think you should try to participate because that is crazy. I don't know how many hours I read in the 24. I know for a fact for Dating Dr. Dill, I read for five hours, five, five and a half hours just for that one. So um, in the 24, I probably total maybe read close to 12 hours of those 24. But honestly, who's to say I didn't really keep track. I wanted to keep track of like actual hours read and then I didn't. So I think next time I do a 24 hour readathon, I'm going to track pages and I'm going to track the length of time in which I read in that particular set of time. Um, but that is everything I had. This video is kind of short, but it's 24 hours. There's only so much you can do vlog style in 24 hours while you're trying to read as much as possible. So that's fine. But here's a little video for you guys, and I hope you loved it a lot. So like, comment, subscribe, do whatever you need to do to help out my channel. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye!